Well, good morning, guys. Today is the second to last day of our game fish season here in Wisconsin, and we are in the middle of an ice storm. Uh, this morning, on the way here in the dark, I helped pull some people out of the ditch, and I drove really slow, made it here to try a crappie spot in the dark. It turned out to be pretty slow. I was marking them, but they just wouldn't bite. I caught a couple, but uh, anyway, my main goal today is to set up and catch a big pike or a big walleye on the underwater camera. And I'm on a weed point right here. I just camered some holes. I know there's some bluegills here. And I, I'm sure there's pike and walleyes coming through this spot, especially in this weather with this low pressure. So I'm gonna get set up here. We're gonna put the shack up, get the camera down and have at it. There we go. Fish on. I was still setting up here. I got another flag right there. This could be a heck of a day here. <laughs> Not a bad fish at all. That's a great start. This could be a really good day. Okay, I'm literally watching a walleye come after my minnow right now. Look at that. Look at that. That is so cool. Oh my goodness. Come on, eat it, buddy. Eat it. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, that was so cool. So cool. That is a good sign. Okay, just getting set up here. I've got some fish down there already. I got a bass working me. Got him. Oh, that was cool. Oh, nice. Nice little keeper. I had a pike looking at my minnow at exactly the same time. That's a perfect eater right there. And uh, the pike was just staring it down and then this bass came in. The first fish I saw was a walleye and he came and checked out my minnow right away, but uh, didn't eat it. So I think we're in the right spot. We got bass, pike, and walleyes all right here. Oh shoot, we got a bite, we got a bite. I did not see what grabbed that, but I'm guessing it's a pike. Got him. Oh, jeez. Oh yeah, nice pike. Oh, that was crazy. I just looked over and there he was. Yeah, it's a decent one. Oh, I was just stepping out to grab some stuff and adjust the camera. Oh yeah. <laughs> Nice. Oh, that's pretty awesome. I'm in a really good, I'm in a really good spot. I mean, I, I'm just getting set up. I've already caught a bass, seen a walleye, caught another pike on a tip up. This is exactly what we're looking for. Hopefully we can catch a slob today. But uh, in the meantime, at least I got some pike to eat. These are perfect eating fish right here. And uh, so cool to see them on the camera comes a bunch of gills. Oh, that bass sees my Z-Viber. Here he comes. Oh, he's going to crush it. He's going to crush it. Come on. Come on. Oh, I missed him. He totally ate it. Oh. I got a buddy coming out. Um, Dalton, he's coming out to fish with me for a little bit here so we can get some more lines out, cover some more water. And my dad might come out too, so hopefully we can get a few more tip-ups out. That'll give us a few more chances at a big fish today. This is this kind of weather, this spot in particular, just seems like it's a afternoon spot. So, oh, he's back. There's bass looking at me right now. Come on, buddy. Eat the Z-Viber. Eat the Z-Viber. Yep, there he is. Got him. Got him. Okay, this is kind of chaos here. I'm gonna let this camera go. That's uh, one of the bad things about fishing with a camera is sometimes your fish get caught in it. There ain't much you can do other than pull the fish and the camera out at the same time, which I'm gonna attempt to do here. There we go, here it comes. A little more rope. Here he comes. Here he comes, oh, it's a nice bass. I don't want to get hooked on them, however. Oh, it's the recipe for disaster. Oh, there we go. 
<laughs> oh, that was a little crazy. Another bass on the Z Viber. Pretty sweet. I'm telling you, that Z Viber is money for these bass. They absolutely love it. They can't get enough of it. I don't know what it is about it, but it works. I think we're gonna let him go. All right, got a bunch of gills rolling through here again. So I'm gonna drop down the old tungsten and waxy. I got a little clam dingle drop on here. They're really finicky, but they're coming through in waves. Flag. There he is. Oh, that's a big fish, big fish. Oh, he's not as big as I thought, but man, not a bad pike. Another good eater. He felt a lot bigger than that. It's not a giant by any means, but he was tugging pretty good. Sweet. It's turning out to be a decent day. Really good. I love these low pressure days like this. It's just prime time for fish to come up and feed on these shallow flats. So let's get this guy off and get another one down there. All right, my tip up setup today for these pike and walleyes is basically a 25 pound fluorocarbon leader, about two feet long, down to a shiner minnow. I'm using fluorocarbon because we got walleyes here, but I'm using 25 pound because we got pike. It's kind of a compromise. You might get bit off by a big pike, but at least you got a chance at walleyes in this clear water and I'm running that right on the edge of this weed line on this point got my vultures on here so I don't have to keep looking out the window to see if the flags up and uh, no need for hole covers today it's like 35 degrees out so hopefully we can get a couple more flags I'm sure we will by the end of the day here so um, pretty basic stuff but it works dad just joined me for a couple hours here have you caught anything yet? One little bluegill. Well, hopefully it picks up here. Dalton's coming in a minute too, so we'll get some reinforcements and get some more line <laughs> in the water. Yeah, it's got one. How's it feel? It feels like it's not tiny. Good. Oh, some, some meat anyway. Yep. Another chunky one. Too bad. Could have been bigger, but. We're not fussy. It'll fit in a pan. Well, as you can hear, it's starting to rain again. I got uh, my dad and Dalton here with me now. We caught a couple pike right away when they got here, and we lost a big one in the shack while we were out catching fish on the tip-ups. Got back here, and it was wrapped up around the, the cord on the camera, but hopefully we got at least the strike on camera so we can kind of see what happened and see how big it was but I think it was probably the fish we were after today. Oh that was a big one. Hopefully we'll get redemption before we gotta take off here but if not we got a bunch of fish so don't pull too hard because it's just a fluorocarbon leader so not super heavy. Something <laughs> how's it feel? There we go. Yep. Nice. Here we go. Thank you. Well, I think that's pike number five. Five? <clears throat> pike number five, and we just lost a big one in the shack. And, uh, we grabbed it while we were catching dad's fish. And we hooked him, and he wrapped up in the camera. So hopefully, we got that on video. At least we got the hit on video. but. <clears throat> They're turning on. It's just starting to kind of get slow. We just saw a bass. There we go. Fish on. And then we got this bite. Feels decent. If it's a walleye, it should be a nice one. Oh, another pike. go pike number seven it's turned out to be a good day i was just gonna let him go but i just realized he's got no 
upper jawbone at all. It's completely gone. But he looks totally healed up, so he should be fine, but that's kind of interesting. There's another even Not bigger fishing. one. There's an even bigger one coming. Okay, so you gotta make him chase it. See that? See yeah. how he's chasing yeah. it up? Yeah. <laughs> Little bass. Oh, nice. You wanna fillet him? Yeah. We'll fillet him. See, I told you they were nice. Yeah. yeah. Look at that one. The other one was bigger. <laughs> That's a dandy. I've been cat and mouse with that thing for a long time. It's a pretty fish. There's one. That's a decent one. It's a keeper. There's some bigger ones down there than that right now. Oh, you got a nice one. There you go. That's a nice one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> there you go. That. That's, That's what we're looking for. Yeah, these are all, almost all of them are nice in this school. We keep having these roaming schools of bluegills come by, and some of them have some really nice fish. We're just picking them off a few here and there, but they're not not super aggressive, so. Usually out in the basin, though. Ooh, he smoked it. That might be a keeper. Oh, yeah. Yep. Picking away at him. Yeah. There's a nice one. Oh, what's that? Little bass? Yeah. I think so. He's gonna eat yours, Dad. He ate it. He ate it. <laughs> I just saw the, I just saw the red. <laughs> oh, come on, don't fall off. I got him, I got him, I got him. <laughs> Stinks because it's so small. That's a piece there. Oh, you got him. Good catch. <laughs> gotta have quick hands sometimes. Yeah, I right. know. All right, well, we got to pick up. We ended up catching a whole mess of bluegills, uh, just kind of picking them off out of some schools that were coming through. But the game fish kind of disappeared. I don't know if they went back out to the basin or, or what. Oh. I got a pike looking at your spoon right now. Yeah. See him? Yeah. There's one right here right now. <laughs> Come on, eat it. How do I? Just you're doing right and good. Just keep doing that. Oh, he took off. That's the first pike we've seen in probably an hour here, and uh, we got to pack up. But we got a lot of action. We caught multi species. We caught largemouth, a bunch of nice bluegills, and uh, some nice pike too. So. And then we lost that big one. I'm not sure how big he was until we watched the footage, but we'll see uh, see what he looked like when we open up the camera and watch it. But I'm almost afraid to see how big he was. I know he was nice, so hopefully you guys can get out and do some late ice fishing. Get hooked up. <laughs>